Hello, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of the original Risen game. This is episode 31, and we are in the monastery, and we are ready to look around and get some fat loot action going on right here. It's going to be a Captain celebration Duke. that lasts throughout the years. It broke. Oh, we're having all sorts of little issues here, aren't Did we? It. There we go. And right behind his back, we stole his food, his gold, and his lockpick, because that's just how we roll. That's the kind of guy that we are. And we took his broom, his other broom. Maybe his favorite br broom. Nobody knows for sure. Did I hear him right? You want to talk to the Inquisitor? Yeah, I do. I have an important message for him. What's it like outside? Are all the monsters gone? No. It's crawling with them. Want to know what they do to people? No. Not really. Yeah. Now I'm here. Can I leave them? Monastery. Now I'm here. Can I leave the monastery? Yes, from time to time. But believe me, you're safer in here. So how do I leave the monastery? Master Pallas opens the gate. Huh. But he'll only do that once Master Ignatius considers you worthy. Okay. Who is Master Ignatius? Look, I can understand all the questions. I had them too. But like Master Pallas told me, everything in good time. You'll learn about Master Ignatius soon enough. Of course so I will. just relax. Look around. And be safe in the knowledge that nothing's trying to eat you in here. Eh. I remember bad things happening here at some point. So I would disagree pretty substantially with that statement. I think there are things that are very, very willing to eat me in here. Hey, when you talk to the Inquisitor, ask when the free beer and dancing girls are coming. You really want me to ask the Inquisitor that? Come to think about it, he doesn't have much of a sense of humor. Better leave it. Yep. How do I get out of the monastery? <laughs> That's exactly what I asked when they forced me in here. But don't worry, someday they'll open the gate. Oh, someday. Someday. Master Ignatius tells Pallas who can use the gate. But he's a pawn for the Inquisition like the rest of us. So, get comfortable. Have a look around at your own pace before you're packed off to the ruins. Hmm. Ignatius. Taylor told me about him. Well, if you apply yourself to your studies, you'll soon find yourself in his presence. Very, very interesting. I wonder if this guy would snitch on me. I bet he would. and be like, what are you doing to my chest? So I'm just going to ignore him for now. Ignore the chest. Ignore all of the little issues and things that pop up. I wonder how I got in here before. definitely get out of here that's no problem if I had to I could just leap over the wall and be like I'm free free falling and be fine you know but I'm not yeah so I think I, somehow I managed to climb my way up here actually and this is how I originally came into the place which I don't think I was supposed to do I think there was a pretty big uh, thing against me doing it. what's up Tucker <laughs> look another recruit right me too Tucker, recruit of the Inquisition. What a joke. The same people who chain me up now expect me to fight for them. You don't think we should fight? Against who? For what? If they're pulling us in for service, then the shit has really hit the fan. True. What do you think is going on? I don't think even the Inquisitor knows that. But one thing is certain. We recruits will be the first ones to get thrown into the fight. That does not sound like a very healthy outcome for the recruits. Just saying. Alright, water trough. Forge. Carlson! Here's someone who needs the protection of a good weapon. Yeah, I do. What sort of weapons do you have? Injure things, kill things, cause damage to things, that sort of weapon. But nothing's free. Uh, but I'll loaded. trade if you can't pay with gold. Okay, um... What weapons have you got for trade? Not much. Take a look. Most use a staff around here. But if you've got something decent to trade, I won't say no. All right. Can you get me any blanks for smithing? Do you see any round here? There's simply no demand for blades here in the monastery. I could make some, but you'd have to bring me some more. Yeah. All right. Have you got any Oops. decent weapons? 
How about I take one of my weapons and beat you around the head with it? Then you can see how decent they are. Easy, Tiger. Wow. He didn't seem super thrilled. Alright, let's trade. Let's trade. Well, he, he lied. He does have a steel sword blank. He's got some spears. I guess I can get one of those. Um, let's trade him all the garbage I picked up over the course of my adventures here. The machete, the sabre, or sabre as it were. Thorn mace, the swords, the knives, the rusty swords, the sickles, the clubs. We're certainly trading a lot of stuff. We're going to sell him back his own staff that we just stole from him because we're a boss like that. A sturdy branch, the woodcutter's axes. Uh, I don't need both of those shields. Don't need those shields at all. Um, hunter's clothing, probably don't need that. I'm... What am I wearing? If I'm not wearing... Oh, I'm wearing the hunter's clothing. I'm sorry. Like, if I'm not wearing the hunter's clothing, what am I wearing? But no, indeed I am wearing the hunter's clothing, and it's fine. Alright, I don't need four pickaxes. I don't need two hammers. I don't need two jaw chisels. Or dosa brumos. I guess that's good. Alright, we'll trade the items in the basket. And we'll get an extra 440 gold. There, now you're like a real blacksmith. You have stuff to trade. And it is cool. No one saw me sneak in here. <laughs> I am totally going to rob your chest because I am just that crafty. That didn't do it. Double right, double left. Did it. Yeah, I'm bad. And what do we have? Rusty two-handed sword, steel blank, and some more money. So if we take a look, how much money do we actually have? Almost 3,000. That's pretty impressive. He seems to be slightly upset now. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's see. The Ring of the Fighter. The Ring... Ooh, maximum life, energy, and strength. That's not bad. Uh, an amulet of strength, that's not bad either. A flat ring of strength, and then a bunch of magic resistances. Okay, um... I don't know, I don't know if I want to actually do any... I think I might go with the life energy and strength. I just want one of those. Okay, let's see, I'm going to craft this. And I will replace the one that's like plus three strength. And then when I actually max out my axe fighting, I think I can drop my that's axe done. fighting ring. Alright, so let's go here. What are we using? We're using the axe fighting ring and the ring of strength. Let's get rid of that one and get ourselves this one. It's plus three strength and plus 20 health. We'll make things a little bit better. Chill yourself out, dude. Stuff. Ooh, there's a water barrel in the middle here that would take like a hundred years to actually recover from. Nobody's just like randomly grabbing me saying, hey, blah, 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 blah. I want to actually sleep. You looking for something? Yeah, a bed. Can I sleep here? Apparently I Careful can. Careful what you touch. I just needed to rest. It's fine, Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly ghost, it's fine. All right, so we're back out here. We are fully healed, and we're going to do a quick save, because that's what we do. We roll out with quick saves, and we do things, and we make it happen. Um, not sure what to do here. Let's do a glowing steel blank. And then the forge. Here he gets out of the way. Carlson, move, buddy. Now onto the anvil. Dude, you gotta get off the anvil. You've been hammering on that thing for like five minutes. Let's go, buddy. Come on, other people have work to do. I will hit you with my axe. Come on.
Come on, I apologize, folks. I didn't think it would be this difficult to actually get started on what I need to do. Oh, good, he moved. All right, sweet. So now I can bang on my anvil. Pink, pink, tonk, tonk. Right, the glowing sword is obtained. The watering trough. Okay. And the dull sword, and then we're gonna come over here and use the whetstone. And we are going to have ourselves a beautiful new sword, ladies and gentlemen. Looks good. There it is. A sharp sword has been gathered. It's actually not bad. All right, let's trade. Let's trade. Trade you some more of your own crap back. It's fine. Uh, let's see, your rusted two-handed sword, not as impressive as one may or may not hope. And it looks like we're going to get $50 for that. So that's some cash monies right there. We'll trade those items in, and bam! Really close to the 3k mark at this point. Alright, let's talk to some of these other, some of these other various people. This dude wandering around right here, but we can totally I don't take think him. we have anything to talk about. Does the Don know that you're up here? Yeah, he does. This isn't the place for you. You've chosen your path. Now stick to it. Dude, I'm, you know, I do enjoy doing this every once in a while. Yeah, I have chosen my path, and I will stick to it. What's up, all right? Why your little students helping you, huh? Yeah. They should stop. Yeah, huh? What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? Get beat down and crushed, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. Well, that was still fun, guys. You gotta beat up some people every once in a while to make you feel better. It makes it, it kind of like unleashes the beast, you know, so you don't like, I'm pent up in a city. I can't take it anymore. And then you snap and you just start murdering people left and right, you know, for real. You just do a quick save and then you go about your business. It's fine. One so of the Don's men comes to the Order of the Flame. Indubitably. I am Master Vitus. Vitus. As long as you Sorry. behave yourself properly, you're welcome among us. But if you cause trouble, do not think because we are religious men that we cannot look after ourselves. Oh, you can gang up on us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trouble. Stay out of the chambers and restrain the urge to steal or to start fights. Well, when you put it like that... Oh, what's that? Wine? Oh, look, there's a pile of dust. I can totally sweep that up with my broom. Because apparently that's important for some unknown reason. Oh, what's this? You guys are poor. You're in poverty. You're living a life of poverty. And I just stole stuff from you. Oh, so sad. Over it. Alright, what's in the seaman chest? Ooh, a ring of maximum mana, and all sorts of glittery things. And cheese. Glittery stuff and cheese. There's no point in sneaking oh, I'm sorry, if somebody yeah. can see you. I was scratching my foot. My bad. How did you get in here? I walked. Big hole in the wall. They call it a door. <laughs> You're not a recruit. I don't need to Neither be. Neither are you by the look of it. I am the cook. So, if you want to get fed... Mind your manners. Meh. Huh. What's on the menu, cook? Your plate is staying empty. Huh. Come on. I'm hungry. Here, have an apple. If you want anything else, try talking to Casper. Casper? He's a novice. You'll find him sweeping the chambers, most likely. Hey. Hey, uh, found any gold? I lost some around here. Ha! Do you really think that'd still be here? Have you got any idea of the sort of people who pass by here? Yep. Looks like it's gone for good. Yep, looks like it's gone for good. 
Well, why don't you get back to your little stew pot there, buddy, and I'm gonna come over here and just sneak in here and steal from your chest because you're busy with your pot of goodies. And your chest is not a real chest, so instead I will steal an apple, some wine. Oh, somebody walked right by. A couple people did. They didn't see me though. Got some stew. There's a rock or something like that. Sounds like there's pigs outside this door. Hmm. Let's go see what's over here by the pigs. Or what the was all oh. Oh look at that, they're just like rolling around in the dirt and stuff. That's fine. Green leaf, um pick some mushrooms because we can do these things. I was just digging over here. He's like, whatevs. I'm just what? doing my job. What? You do not seem like you're a happy guy. I could murder you, and then I'd be like, what? What? And you'd be like, oh no! Hmm. Better start again. Job well done. He just doesn't seem to care that I came in here. Huh. There's a saw and a shovel and a... Little mouse and a mage. A mage. Little mouse in a maze named Algernon. Oh, we got some potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to cook us some stew. Oh, what a oh, what a oh, what what? Alright, let me sprint. Oh wait, I can't. Let me let me slowly leap my way to victory here. Hey. Don't touch anything. I don't want to touch anything. I want to use your cooking fire that you don't have, man. Wasn't there one out by the uh, the back uh, water place that I told you? Ooh, there's somebody named William that I'm gonna have to totally talk to. But like, I was going on, Willie. Slick Willie, what you doing? And be like, yeah, I'm doing what I do. All right, let's see. What are we missing? Why can't I cook? Why can't I cook stew? Um. Okay, one potato, raw meat. Oh, we need a kettle or a ladle. Hmm. So we actually need to go back to that big cooking pot, or we need those items in our inventory. Hmm. Excuse me, guys. Let me just walk past you, swinging your sticks around. What do you want here? I want to use your kettle and your ladle. Do you have these things? Bread, potatoes, cheese. Huh. Kind of bummed out. Huh. Oh well. All right. Let's see. Any of these guys have anything to say? Recruit. Recruit. William. Did you come from the swamp? Then you must know my brother Beppo. Oh yes. Indubitably. I know Beppo. Don't let him get to you. He's got a bad attitude. He's always been like that. Yeah. Your mother Tilda has been asking for you. My mother. I hope she's all right. Yes. She's in Harbor Town. Good. That's where she should be. Thanks for letting me know. Right, so I've talked to the three sons, the brothers three, as it were. Alright, a ladle and a kettle, huh? Well, that could be interesting. You think Holt You aren't allowed in here. Oh. I was told I could walk around freely in here. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you can go snooping around everywhere. Some areas are off limits. The cemetery is one of them. So beat it. Oh, really? Okay, well, you know, I wish I to want enter. to enter the cemetery. Why should I let a bandit like you enter our cemetery? Um. Uh... What about some Bruegelweed? Bruegelweed. All right, you have a deal. That was easy. Get me two rolls of Bruegel, and I'll let you pass. You must have to keep your concentration huh. as a guard. That's for sure. People will try and pull all sorts of funny business if you don't keep an eye open. It's tough, but you won't find me letting my guard down. That's Hours of boredom, all to be ready for that one moment of excitement, eh? Well... Halt! This is only for members of the convocation. Mm-hmm. Well... This is not good at all! Oh gosh, why did you hit me, dude? Stop this right now! 
This doesn't look good. Oh, they're all mad at me. Put down the weapons! I don't have any weapons. You can't hide forever. Halt. Oh, are we going to do this again, really? I have a message for the Inquisitor from Don Esteban. The Don, huh? That will get you in, but try stealing anything or causing trouble, and I'll feed you to the pigs. That doesn't a week sound clear. good or nice. Oh, yeah. We're clear. Word to the wise. Get cocky with the Inquisitor. Huh. They'll be picking up pieces of you for weeks. Get me? I got it the first time, when no, it was clear. clear. Go <laughs> and deliver your message. They won't get away from us. Oh, really? We're still, we're still fighting, huh? All right. That's right. Run. Really, dude? Can't you just let it go? Halt. Do we have to do this? All right. Apparently, this is not working well for me. Alright, so, instead of continuing down our little this path of good. destruction here, we are going That's to right. run. run, as they have aptly told me countless times now, and hopefully we can now outpace this is exciting. them and get away. Come on! What? You guys are still chasing Again. me? Hmm. Uh, come Ow. on! That was my foot. Okay, so apparently I've upset him a lot. And he's very, very, very exceptionally unhappy with me. And this does not lead to anywhere that I would possibly want to go. Now, I could try to knock them off the cliff. That might actually work. The pigs, there's safety in the pigs. How? How could I you possibly... I smell big trouble! How could you possibly know where I'm at, man? Come on. Just let it go. Oh gosh, this pig is really owning me here. Alright, let's no see. No good can come of this! I think that pauses the game. I could be totally wrong though. What are they thinking? Let's see here. Let's add that to the No good can come of this. Oh. Yeah, that joke really didn't do much good. Huh. <laughs> and now I have to beat him to death. Good. All right, buddy. No good you want to steal from me? Huh? Ah. Yeah, don't steal from me, buddy. Don't steal from me. All right. So a little payback there. I'm sure he wasn't super happy with how that all played out. I imagine he was probably relatively upset. Uh, is he gonna get back up? I mean, I didn't want him to die or anything. I mean, he kind of stuck his nose into my business. Do you have any Bruegelweed? Why would I have Bruegelweed? You're from outside here. If you get your hands on any Bruegel weed, I'll take some. There are always people looking for a little herbal relaxation from the outside Yeah, world. they are. Or any other items you can bring in. Okay, well, I'll talk to you in a minute. First, I want to go back and talk to the, my guy here who uh, I kind of wrecked. He's got a stick now. Hey, Ulrich. You look a little unhappy. How about we make up and we become friends again? 
Yeah? Yeah, we're good. You're, you're laughing. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. No, you seem upset. Oh well, I guess... Eh, whatever. I managed it. I'm still alive. I didn't get killed. I should have gotten killed. Probably almost got killed, but I didn't, so... Halt! You aren't allowed in here. Okay, so Yoki has uh, managed to forget his massive hatred of me. I can live with that. Alright, folks, I guess that's enough messing around right now in this wonderful town of death. Let's talk to Casper, see what he's got. Show me what you've got. And yeah, he's got some lockpicks and some blank scrolls, which is interesting. Nothing else I really need. I think we're fine. We're not going to trade with him. Show me what. Or I'll keep hitting the wrong button and then we will. We will trade with them. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Just some wandering around, getting into some trouble. Obviously, you guys got to see that firsthand. It was not pleasant. It was well, somewhat embarrassing. And more than slightly problematic. But, in the end, I was victorious in all things that I attempted. Let's see. Ooh, I can sneak into this room just fine. It's a bathroom. Water barrel, a tub, a cupboard. Ooh, what's in the cupboard, I wonder, huh? Some stuff. I will totally take. Alright, well, unfortunately this doesn't really help us any. Or does it? Oh, it doesn't. What's over here? I'll have to pick this, or find the key. Well, apparently I'll have to pick that or find the key. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I will catch you guys next time with more of the original Risen game. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.